All right, as I promised, I have 15 minute abs, okay? 15 minutes, okay? Um, these are gonna be more cardio-ish based, okay? Um, a little more advanced, so, but anybody can still do them, I promise. All right, so our first one here is, <laughs> ooh, curtsy knee crunch. All right. Gotta get some props up here first. Okay, because this one's standing, okay? What this one looks like is, you know what a curtsy is, okay? It's when you do this, okay? One leg is planted, and the other leg is gonna go back at a 45 degree angle, okay? And you're gonna bend down. That's a curtsy, right? But you're gonna start off in this position, okay? You're gonna bring your other hand, the hand that's with the leg back, and you're gonna kind of bend it in like so, okay? The goal is to kind of keep doing one of these things to bring your foot back and to meet your elbow, okay? You should be feeling it right here, okay? If you need a tap down and you can't go all the way back, that's fine, okay? You can do this, all right? 30 seconds each side. So the other side, you're gonna start off here, you're gonna come up like this, okay? 30 seconds each side. Move number two is in and out ski abs. You are gonna go down on the ground, okay? So you're gonna be down here in plank, okay? I suggest a strong or a straight arm plank and you are gonna kind of ski your abs in. So you're gonna go to one side, back to middle, to the other side, middle, one side, okay? These are ski abs. So you can go faster. If you need to walk it out, walk it out, okay? When you are back here in plank, make sure it's a good strong plank, okay? 45 seconds, you can do it. Okay, move number three. Good old Russian twist, all right? Whether you guys do this one with or without a, a weight is up to you, okay? Important reminders, all right? Knees bent, okay? Slight bend in your spine when you are doing it. When you go down, you want to touch this elbow or forearm or your weight, okay? Two the ground, okay? If you have a weight, go a little slower, okay? You can play with the tempo, it's fine. Just do it for 45 seconds. You got it, I promise. What move? Move number four, bucket giraffe, okay? Told you, y'all aren't gonna like me after this. All right, bucket drop. This, I'm gonna change the angle. Looks like this, okay? You are going to be in plank, okay? You're gonna take one leg, twist it to the side, but I want you to drop your bottom almost to the ground, okay? So you are gonna kinda end up doing a slight push-up at the same time, okay? If you have a straight leg, that's fine. If you want to bend your knee, if you want to put your knee on the ground, that's okay. All right? The goal is to just push your foot through and not put your leg down. Okay? It's called a bucket drop. And I love you all. All right, next move is There we are. Supermans! I know y'all love Supermans, okay? You know how to do Supermans, right? You're laying here out like this for Superman. Arms um, you're gonna be out, you're gonna lift up and go back, okay? I prefer to do both arms at the same time, okay? Keeping your head in line. So you don't wanna be looking down, but you don't wanna be looking up like this the whole time. Dogs are optional, okay? Thanks, Griff. Superman, okay? 
will help strengthen your back. Next. That was five. Ooh, power knees. My favorite. Actually, they're all my favorite. So you're going to do 30 seconds on each side, okay? So, power knees look like this, okay? You're going to kind of stand at an angle. You're going to bring one knee up like so, okay? 30 seconds on one side, change. 30 seconds on the other. The knee that is bent, I mean the knee that is grounded needs to be bent, okay? You can kind of be slightly, notice I'm kind of slightly angled and I'm slightly leaning forward, okay? If you want to add in a hop to it, go for it. It's your workout, not mine. All right. Ooh, beast tabletop walk through. All right, another favorite of mine. So, this, you're gonna be here in reverse tabletop or what I call beast, okay? So your arms are gonna be underneath your shoulders, wrist, elbow, shoulder, all in one line. Knees are underneath your hips. You're gonna just be in reverse tabletop, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna lift your knees up about an inch off the ground, okay? And then you're going to kick through the opposite side. I'm going to do this with the shoulder pad, okay? Okay? If you can't do that and that's too much, you can sit it down like this, okay? And turn, okay? Build up to that kick through, okay? I know you can do it. All right? Uh, oh, camel! This one's new. So, what this one is going to be, I'm trying to figure out how to do it. Alright, so you are going to be on your knees. Okay. Whether you do this one with or without a weight, I'd suggest without a weight first. Okay. Oh, look, Spence coming back. We might have to move. Okay, so you're going to be up on your knees. Your legs are going to be shoulder width apart. You are going to bend backwards. Why it's called camel, I don't know. You're going to bend backwards and kind of tap your shoe here, okay? All right, you're going to feel it here in your quads, yes, but you're also going to be feeling it right here in the mommy pooch, all right? You can do that. What I don't want to see is this arch in your back. Your back needs to be flat, okay? The work when you pull up is going to be coming here from your core. All right. Ab attack. Another one of my favorites. Again, you're going to do 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. So, ab attack. You're going to be standing sideways, like so, okay? You are going to squat down and then come up with your knee driving up. Okay? That's ab attack. And you can add in a hop if you want, or you can take the hop out. Okay? When you go down, make sure it's a good squat. Okay? When you come up, you're going to do like a high speed pose. You're going to twist into your knee. Okay? 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other. Okay? Number 10, hmm, plank, pike, side. You can do it. All right, so you're gonna be plank, okay? Then you're gonna pike up, go back to plank, go to side. Do it again. Pike, plank, other side. Next is sitting ab crunch. You can do that. All right? Sitting ab crunch sounds just like what it is. Okay? You're going to be sitting, though, instead of laying down. So it's going to look like I'm going to be 
you're sitting, I'm knees bent, you're going to be kind of arched back with the C-spine. And you're going to be doing this, okay. bringing your knees up to your chest. Okay. So it's not just your knees moving, but your whole body. And you're pivoting on the sits bones. Okay. You need to shake it out. Shake it out. You got it. Did you? Uh, <laughs> I call this one head, shoulders, knees, and ankles. All right, you're going to be in plank. Okay. Excuse me, Griff. Okay. So, you're going to do a shoulder tap. I'm going to go pike back up and do a knee tap. Okay. You're going to pike and do an ankle tap. Ankle tap. And repeat. Shoulder, knees, ankles. And he saw inch worms were evil. Oh, you should know me better. Um, what number was that? Hmm. All right. Sorry. Frog circles. We've done these. Okay. You're going to be on your back. Feet are going to be together like a frog. Okay. Whether you have a weight or not, up to you. You're going to drive in a circle. Okay. So you're going to go one circle. And then you're going to reverse it. Okay. Hold up. You're going to crunch up like you're going from your knee to the middle to your other knee and back down. Reverse it. Yeah. All right. We're almost done. Frog circles. And then our last one is bow to boat. Okay. This is going to work your back. So... You're going to spend five seconds in each move. Okay, there's only two of them, don't worry. Okay. So it's going to look like, okay, so bow is you're on your back. I mean, you're on your belly. Okay. Bow, you're kind of up. Like the traditional bow is this, but you don't really need to do that. Okay. Arms lifted, legs lifted, bow. Hold. Five, four, three, two, one. When you're holding, you want to be squeezing between your shoulder blades and squeezing these glutes. That's what's activating these long back muscles. Okay. Then, after five seconds, you're going to roll over and go into boat, which you can't see. Boat is like this. Okay, Not like this. Arms up over your head. Your core is tight and your legs are raised. Hold for five seconds. Pull back over. Do bow again. You're going to repeat it. And that, my folks, is your 15-minute abs. If you have questions on a move, drop me a line. Let me know. And I hope you don't hate me too much. Love you lots.